Hey everybody, Jake here and welcome to the hobby. Today I'm going to be cracking open a $25 mystery box that I purchased from SAC Anime, the Sacramento anime convention that was just held a couple of days ago as of the recording of this video. Uh, there were so many Pokemon card vendors at the convention this was my first anime convention in two years honestly since the pandemic started i haven't been able to go to any conventions like i used to and this one was a lot of fun the hobby has completely changed i remember two years ago when i went to conventions it was a struggle to find pokemon cards at any vendor you were lucky if you could find one single vendor that sold pokemon cards now it's completely different there are 20 30 maybe 40 vendors at this convention that were selling pokemon cards there were rare pokemon cards all over tables full art pokemon cards secret rare hyper rare pokemon cards vintage graded there were all kinds of really cool items i actually spent over a thousand dollars on all kinds of different products and this 25 dollar mystery box was one of them but i didn't just purchase one 25 dollar purchase i purchased a second i purchased a third and i purchased a fourth from the exact same vendor so let's crack these baby open and see what's inside I really have no idea what's inside of these uh, little mystery boxes. Seems to be really interesting because honestly, they said that there was a chance at a graded Pokemon card inside of one of these boxes. I have four boxes, so that's four chances of pulling a graded Pokemon card. Could honestly be anything. I'm thinking most likely they're going to insert like a random basic Pokemon that's a PSA 9, something like that. Probably not something that's going to be really high end and this might be a chance for them to just offload some inventory i shook all the boxes and they all seem pretty heavy they all seem like they have a good shot of being a uh, a, a box with a graded pokemon card so we have four boxes that's four chances to pull one so let's crack open the first one and see what we get and see how this vendor does all right we got ourselves some sleeves fantastic sleeves has the charizard on the front gonna be a popular uh pair of sleeves in the long run we have some dice that's pretty much garbage we also have an evolving skies booster pack that's pretty solid a second evolving skies booster pa uh, pack no complaints from me two evolving skies booster pack a Oricorio GX, which is actually a really solid Pokemon, but unfortunately, it's going to be rotating out of standard in like two days. So most likely, prices on this card is going to be declining. Fantastic condition though, no issue. This is not like some damage card that they shoved inside one of these boxes. So pretty good. Uh, I'm going to try to cut back on saying the word fantastic from now on. I don't know why, but in my last video, I said it like 40 times. I think I was in some kind of weird trance. So I'm going to try to cut that word out of my vocabulary for this video. We got ourselves a Chilling Rain booster pack. And that's it. That's it. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Uh, first $25 mystery box, and we got ourselves three booster packs. A GX card that is of decent quality and some sleeves and that's pretty much it that's kind of brutal oh I was hoping for at least I would say another booster pack although I mean hey if we pull one single decent card from one of these booster packs oh who am I kidding that's still a terrible deal no matter how you look at it because you know three booster pack is really like what 12 bucks uh, not the worst booster pack I've opened it comes close ish to $25 not really $25 but close enough that I I can't really complain too much I would have preferred one more booster pack I think one more booster pack and I would have let it slide so it's close enough I'm gonna give them um, I'm gonna give them some slack on this one and who knows maybe we'll pull something cool we got Evolving Skies and Chilling Rain, and these sets are fantastic. Lots of really strong potential hits inside of these sets, so who knows? Who knows? Inside of a mystery box. We could get something fantastic or not, who knows? We do 3 to front, toss that energy. Second booster pack. See, the problem with mystery boxes is if when you get 
booster packs inside, you sort of question them. Are they way booster packs? Are they tampered booster packs? You just don't know. We got, got uh, Ludicolo, Hollow Rare. Okay, maybe they're not weighed. Hey, Ludicolo is a Hollow Rare. Final booster pack from the first mystery box. Looks to be junk, but it's our first of four mystery boxes. My hopes are high and I'm ready to be disappointed. You just never know with these things. I don't know the name of this vendor. I wish I did. There were so many vendors at SAC Anime. Like I said, the hobby completely changed. I've never seen so many Pokemon cards being sold at an anime convention in my life. All right, first booster pack, uh, first mystery box, complete dud. Moving on to the next one. Second $25 mystery box from the SAC Anime Convention. Uh, I also rattled this one. Feels good. There's some solid weight to it. Feels heavier than the last one. So this one, I'm, I'm hoping. Graded Pokemon card. Let's go, baby. Let's go. And we got ourselves some dice. Not really worth anything. Uh, we got ourselves some Darkness Ablaze booster pack, maybe. Is it Darkness Ablaze? It doesn't tell me which set it is. I think it's Darkness Ablaze, but I'm not 100% confident on that. Uh, nothing too crazy. Let's dump everything out. Out. We got ourselves some damage counters. Garbage. And we got ourselves three booster packs. Once again, a Chilling Rain. Two Evolving Skies. What card did we get this time? We got ourselves Dust Main. Necrozma GX Sun and Moon promo number 102. That's a little bit better. The condition is not fantastic, but it could still be straight out of a box. I'll be honest, if you can pull a card like this out of a box, the condition is probably not going to be fantastic either. The plastic on these were not really good. Gosh darn it, I said the word fantastic, didn't I? Sorry guys, still working on it. We got ourselves two Evolving Skies booster pack and a Chilling Rain booster pack. Once again, not really worth $25. It's worth closer to $15, maybe $20 if you're being really generous. Uh, but it's close to $25. I think they got just close enough to $25 that if they were to sold one of these at the convention, they're most likely not going to complain. Most people are going to pick up one of these mystery box. Rapid Strike Urshifu, Hollow Rare, that's a cool one. Most people are going to pick up one $25 mystery box. They're going to pretty much get, you know, three booster pack, some sleeves, and they're going to move on with their life. They're unlikely to really uh, be super angry with it. They're probably not going to be happy, but they're probably going to sh just shrug it off, you know. It's unlikely to become a scenario where they're going to really complain or ask for their money back, but I'm a little bit different. I bought four of these mystery boxes so oh yeah if i were to open these up in front of them i think i would most likely complain i would probably want like 20 or 30 dollars back and you guys might be different you might say hey that's not how i would do things i just wouldn't buy from them again you should know better you should know that mystery boxes are never fantastic or something like that you know i do these because they're fun and to show you guys the value inside of some of these mystery boxes so you're aware of some of the shenanigans that happen. I'm more than happy if we find ourselves a graded Pokemon card. I guess that's most likely the scenario is that one of these mystery boxes is going to have like a $100 to $200 value and all the other mystery boxes are going to have around $20 value, which is not a terrible idea. It's close. I would prefer having just one more booster pack inside of these mystery boxes. Second mystery box, not too great. Let's go for the third one right away. See what we get inside of this. Uh, if I get another pack of sleeves, I think there might just be a pack of sleeves inside of all these just to weigh them down a little bit. Next one up. And we got ourselves, yeah, pretty much the exact same thing. We got ourselves some dice. We got some damage counters and... A Charizard from Champion's Path sleeve. I don't even know if I should really put a value on those. I probably should because they technically do have a value. We got ourselves Dawn Wings 
Necrozma. So this is just another promo card from pretty much the exact same product that the Dust main came in. Looks to be in pretty decent condition. It's not perfect, but I'm not complaining. It's pretty much near mint. That's probably going to go on some form of giveaway later. We got ourselves a Sword and Shield base booster pack and two Chilling Rain booster pack and nothing else. No graded Pokemon card inside of that one. And we haven't pulled anything either, so that's questionable. Six booster pack, nothing. It's not terrible because, um, I'll, I'll be frank, I've already done really well in some recent pulls, so I'm not surprised that my luck has caught up to me. There's actually a word for this. It's pretty much, uh, we're moving towards back towards the natural average. If you have some really fantastic hits, then most likely you can expect some terrible hits in your future. And if you have some fantastic hits, then you're going to be expecting some fantastic hits or better hits later. And I said the word again. Ah, I'm terrible at this. Next booster pack. Let's just forget it. Move on to the next booster pack. We do one, two, three to the front. Toss the energy. It looks like we have 12 booster packs inside of these uh, four $25 mystery box. Which is pretty much the same as what I opened in my last video. Do we get anything? We got something! We got something. It's just an ultra rare card, but I will take that because that's our first hit. Shadow Rider Calyrex V. I actually need this card. I actually need this card for my Shadow Rider Calyrex deck. So, I'm gonna keep that one. I actually need that card for competitive play, so I'll take it. Final booster pack, and it's a Chilling Rain one. Oh, okay, let's see what we get. Alternate art card, VMAX card, there's some cool hits inside of Chilling Rain. Three to the front, toss the energy. Looking at the back, the condition of Chilling Rain cars are just always so abysmal. They're never good at all. Uh, let's move really fast because I'm just waiting for that final mystery box. I have to know what's inside of that final mystery box. We got ourselves a Viper Rare. Okay, let's go on to the final mystery box. What I am noticing is that my vocabulary is a lot more limited than I once thought. And it's things that you don't really notice when you're speaking out loud. But once you're being recorded, you might recognize that you say a lot of the same things again and again. I would love to expand my vocabulary. So that's definitely something I'm going to work on. Let's see if we get ourselves a graded Pokemon card inside of this final $25 mystery box from a... Pokemon card vendor at Sack Anime. That was a mouthful. We got some dice, once again, garbage. Some damage counters, garbage. And some Charizard <laughs> sleeves, some Champion's Path. I keep wanting to say Darkness Ablaze, but it's not. It's Champion's Path. All right, moving on. We got ourselves something just dropped and it was not important. We got ourselves the Crobat B. Sword and Shield promo number 110. This is actually really decent. Crobat V is like a $5 card right now because it's very competitively viable. You can use like two or three copies of, of a Crobat V in just about any deck. So actually, pretty solid hit. And surprise, surprise, we actually got a second one. We got a Lolan Persian. Not 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 as good, but I'll take it. I'll take it. We got two uh sleeved up cards inside of this final mystery box. That's a good sign. Alolan Persian GX. Okay. So far, so good. Moving on. Let's see what do we have inside of here. Three booster packs. Three booster packs and no graded Pokemon card. So we paid $100 for a couple of ultra rares, some sleeves, and 12 booster packs. Not the worst deal. Believe it or not, that's not the worst deal. It's bad. I'm gonna say it's bad, but it's not the worst deal. We got Sword and Shield base and two Chilling Rain. Okay, let's get let's get these done with. Let's see what's inside. We got one hit so far out of twelve booster packs. So who knows? Who knows? Let's bring it home. One, two, three to the front. Uh, toss that energy, please, and onto our booster pack. Do we get an alternate art? Do we get a hyper rare, full art, secret rare, anything? Blaze again, rapid strike. I will take that. I'm taking anything right now. We're so behind in terms of hits that I will gladly take a blaze again V. Two more booster pack. 
looks like this is exactly what I expected it to be, which is they're offloading extra inventory somehow or another. You know, you don't really sell sleeves that often. You can sell sleeves. They're, they go for like four or five bucks, but it's not really that profitable. So shoving it inside of a mystery box makes total sense. I would have preferred, like I said, just one more booster pack, but the fact that they're advertising that there's a lottery system with a graded Pokemon card. You don't even know which graded Pokemon card. It's just a graded Pokemon card in one of these booster packs uh, or in one of these mystery boxes. That's really going to be driving up or lowering the value of every single other mystery box because they are looking to make a profit. This is not just them offloading inventory. They are directly looking to profit from these mystery boxes. We do one, two, three to the front. Toss the energy. Final booster pack. Do we take it home? C crushing hammer. I'll take, a, I'll take a crushing hammer. I need a couple of copies of those. Uh, final booster pack. We got Cottony, Holographic Reverse, and a hit. And a hit. It is not a full art card. It is not um, a secret rare, hyper rare, and there's no alternate art inside of Sword and Shield base. But I'll take any hit. And it is Victini V. That's a cool one. That's a cool one. I actually need Victini V too for my Victini V Max deck, which is actually a lot of fun to play. So yeah, all right. Not terrible, not terrible. So let's round off this video. All right, so what's my general impressions of these $25 mystery boxes that you can pick up from some anime conventions? You, they also sell grab bags and whatnot. Uh, in general, I think it was okay it was not terrible but it's not fantastic in any way you can really imagine it if you pull yourself a graded pokemon card you might think wow that's fantastic i prefer consistent mystery boxes over mystery boxes that have one lottery and all the other mystery boxes are kind of junk so that's my preference i would say that this mystery box i'll give it two and a half stars or two and a half jake heads out of five so there you go thank you so much for watching Glad to be back inside of the anime convention scene, and I will see you guys next time.